What's up guys, Dlips here. It is that time of the season where we are going to be ranking every single operator in Rainbow Six Siege. Today, in this specific video, we are going to be ranking the attackers. The defenders one is going to come out in just a few days after this. So we're just going to do this right in the order that you see the attackers appear down on your screen there. So we're starting off with Ace. Ace is 100% still my favorite hard breacher in the game. He's definitely going to go in the S tier. Still a super powerful loadout, powerful gun. Everything about him is just really good. Amaru is unimpressive. Really nothing going for her right now. I think Amaru has a lot of upside, but I just, I just don't think that she's really all that relevant right now in Operation New Blood. Nothing really all that special. She's going in the C tier. You could maybe argue B tier probably because she has such a good loadout. I'm just gonna stick with the C tier for now. Maybe we'll come back and change it. Ash is gonna have to go A tier. I mean, she's just so good right now. Not necessarily because of her utility. Obviously, her utility hasn't changed, but it's just with the R4C A cog, people are just abusing that. And for all the right reasons, it is overpowered. There's a reason why she is in the A category. I mean, you could probably even argue S, but I'm really gonna keep S as exclusive as I possibly can. So we're gonna keep Ash in the A tier. Blackbeard. Now, there's a reason why they gotta rework this dude. He is going in the D tier for sure. I'm very excited for the rework later on this year. I'm sure we're going to be finding out more about that pretty soon. At least I hope so, because this new season is absolutely boring as hell. But yeah, I'm sure you guys aren't going to argue with me on that one. Blackbeard is definitely needing some work down there. Now, Blitz, I'm between the A tier or the S tier. I think I have to go A tier here, because I do think that his counterpart, Monty, is better. So while we're on the subject of shields, we might as well go and skip ahead a little bit. I'm going to grab Monty from over here. I'm going to say Montaigne is an S tier. 100% like as good as it gets it's so hard to play against shields right now I mean obviously you could even argue that this is what it looks like you know and it's not we're gonna keep blitz down here in the A tier because I think Monty is just so good right now just a level ahead it's insane this shield rework I know it wasn't this season but it's insane how impactful it still really is Brava is still really really good I think that she has stuck around for a long time now and just become really really consistent and always a reliable operator to have there's never a time where I'm disappointed to see a Brava get picked and so I mean it's hard to go A tier um, we're, we're gonna go A tier on that I, I think that Brava deserves it but I can understand B tier I think my heart's telling me B tier my brain's telling me A tier so we're gonna stick with the A tier Buck still such a super powerful loadout and even though his ability is you know kind of lame and one dimensional I mean you can't say that Buck is any less than an A tier still one of the best attackers in the game one of the best fragging operators in the entire game as well can't put him anywhere lower than A look this is gonna get hate this is gonna be the hot take of the video actually there may be multiple of those but I'm gonna say Capital is an A tier for sure there are so many scenarios where Capital is such a good operator to have and before you flame me in the comments i urge you guys to go and play capital he is so good you don't have to just use him to get kills with the fire use him to flood out defenders from corners you know when they're just hiding behind a deployable shield or or when they're holding that little corner behind the bunk beds when you're attacking second floor on organ throw in some capitals and then hold the rotation point like those are free kills right there and no one seems to understand because capital has been around for so long he's not exciting anymore this dude is one of the best operators in the game and he has such a fantastic loadout as well he's so multi-dimensional i love capital one of my favorites definitely a tier okay so b tier has been lacking but i do think that we are going to fill that up right now we're putting deimos in the b tier he just really doesn't bring anything all that special i mean i've talked about it before he's like a balanced version of jackal not that there's anything wrong with that but he's balanced you know he's not s or a tier he's not c or d tier he's just a b tier operator and that's okay Dokubi, I just don't think Ubisoft can do anything to stop her. I think she's going to stay in the S tier for as long as she's around, as long as they don't rework her entire ability. She is so, so good. Her pick rate is so high, and there's a reason for that. She's just the, one of the best attackers in the game, arguably the best attacker in the game, if you want to say that. No doubt about her being in the S tier. I think she belongs up there with Monty and Ace as well. Finca, I'm going to say, is pretty balanced right now. You know, I mean, she, she's good in a lot of situations, but she's not necessarily a game breaker. But it's not like I'd be upset to see her get played on my team. I'm going to say she fits in there with Deimos. She's just kind of there, you know what I mean, on that mid-level. 
Flores, another one of those operators who's just got to be one of the best in the game. What he brings to the table is just so, so valuable to a team in terms of, you know, getting the wall, being anti-gadget, being an anti-rotation device. Like, there's just so much that goes on there. I think Flores is going to stay in that A tier for a really long time. He's just a super solid operator to have along with a lot of these other operators here in this category. Fuse, I think, could use a little bit of work right now. Actually, well, I don't even know if you could say he needs work. I think Fuse just is gonna always live in the C category. Like, he's a situational operator, you know? If this tier list was set up differently and there was a situational, you know, area over here, I put him in situational because there are a lot of opportunities to play Fuse where he is really, really good, where he could be the best, the most optimal operator to have when you are attacking certain objectives. But with that being said, there are also objectives where you just want nothing to do with a Fuse. Just fits in right there with Amaru, you know? It's just, there's certain times where you want him certain times when you don't so we're gonna keep him in that c tier i think if you're gonna say fuse is situational and you're gonna throw him in the c tier i don't think you can put glass any higher than that i think you're gonna have the same exact reasoning there i definitely understand if you want to put him in b i mean glass is is exciting he's good but there's not many times where you really really want a glass you know what i mean and i'm not gonna say glass is bad there's just not many times where you want to play him that's really the whole idea that i'm getting at here now moving on to gridlock i'm gonna say gridlock is one of my favorite operators in the game i think she's great to have on many many different scenarios but i think she's pretty balanced you know i don't think she's all that amazing i don't think she's all that bad i think she belongs in that b tier with finca and deimos i think that's kind of where she's gonna live for a while here i don't see any changes coming to that in the future grim is another one of those operators that i think is a lot better than people give him credit for but it's impossible for me to put grim in the a tier i just i can't bring myself to do it i think that he does a lot of the same thing that capital does in a different way where you can flood out defenders from holding like corners of sight you know what i mean things like that but i think he just does things differently and i don't think he's quite as good as an operator like capital i'm gonna put him in the b tier but i i understand if you put him in the a tier i'm, I'm sort of between the two i'm gonna keep him there for now though i think habana hasn't really done anything to fall out of the a tier you know she's a super good fragging operator she brings a lot of utility to the team obviously her ex kairos have changed over time but they're still really good to have obviously nowhere near as good as having aces selmas but if you have a habana i'm still going to be happy about that still a really solid operator to have still really good utility i don't think it's fair to put her in the same category as those four operators we have down here in b i think she belongs in a tier ayana definitely does not fall in the category of amaru fuse and glass but I think she does fall in the category of Deimos, Finca, Gridlock, and Grimm. So I think she belongs in the B category. She's balanced right now. Obviously, at one point, she would have been up there in the S tier. But this is Operation New Blood that we're talking about. So things have changed. She's going to be balanced for now. We're going to put her in that B tier. I don't think anyone's going to argue that IQ is also very balanced. I think she's really good to have, especially to counter a Solus or, or things like that, you know. But she's not always amazing to have. She has some flaws, but I don't think that really brings her down to the C tier. I think she belongs in the balance category as well. I think that's where a lot of these operators are really going to fall. That is sort of the whole goal that Ubisoft has, making a lot of these really overpowered operators balanced and a lot of these really bad operators a little bit more balanced as well, a little bit better. So I wouldn't be surprised if the B tier starts filling up pretty fast here. Now here goes Jackal. I, I don't understand. I've seen a lot of people like sort of give up on jackal this season it doesn't really make much sense like yeah you don't get to play him all that often because he gets banned but he is the best at what he does on the entire attacking team you know there's no one else that does what he does as good as he does it you know what i mean that's that's a lot of of words that i hope makes sense but i'm gonna put him in the s tier i don't know if you guys are gonna agree with that i've seen a lot of people put him in the b tier and say he's balanced i think if you're saying jackal is balanced then you really aren't looking at it the right way i mean there's a reason why this guy Guy still gets banned literally almost every single ranked game so all right next up we have Callie I, I just I know I, I get it I get that she is good in a lot of situations but if you're gonna argue that oh she's good to get wall you know I'd rather just have a Thasher every single time you know she's definitely like better than a, a lot of these operators down on the C tier but she's not better than any of these operators on the B tier we're gonna put her in the C tier and leave it at that I'm gonna say Lion is pretty balanced in the game right now. I think Ubisoft has done a really good job of balancing him out over the years, obviously with how he started in this game. So I don't think anyone's really gonna argue that. Definitely not an overpowered operator, doesn't get played all that much, but when he does get played, he is, you know, a decent operator to have, so. 
Now Maverick is still a really solid operator. I'm gonna put him in the B tier. Always good to have like how all of these other operators are. Nothing all that game breaking and he's certainly not, you know, in this category down here. So now Nook we're gonna put in the D tier. Like can't even spend much time on this. Her ability is just obsolete at this point. Like I've said it many times, if you're playing Nook, you're hurting your whole team. You know, you're, you bring nothing to the table at all. She definitely belongs down there with Blackbeard, which is saying something. Now, I'm not gonna say Nomad is all that balanced. I'm gonna say she's a step above that and put her in the A tier. I think a lot of what she does is also similar to Gridlock, but I'd say Nomad is always better to have than Gridlock. Kind of like an upgraded version of Gridlock, even though they do things two different ways, you know what I mean? But two anti-rotation operators, but I think Nomad just does it better. And I do think she fits in with a lot of these operators up here. Osa is all right, you know, she's not D tier, but I don't think anyone's really gonna argue she's above C tier. There's too many variables with her, you know, like her shields are fine and all, but like, do they really change the game? I, I just, I don't think so. I think that they're too easy to counter and I hardly even think she's balanced. I don't even know what Ubisoft could do to make her better, to make her go up into that B tier. But for now, I think she's just gonna be living in that C tier. Now, when Ram first came out, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't too high on her, but she has came around and I do think she belongs in the A category. I don't know what you guys are gonna think about that. She really can change the trajectory of an entire round. There's not many operators that can do that single-handedly and she certainly can. She covers so much ground, like literally, so I think A tier is certainly fair for that. I mean, Sense is just kind of cheeks right now. She's kind of been cheeks since she came in. I don't know c tier or d tier i think i think d tier honestly i think she fits in down there but i could i could definitely understand c tier i'm gonna say d tier just to add in some spice though so we're, we're gonna keep it at that sledge is about as balanced as an operator gets i don't think anyone's gonna argue that he's been a constant in this game forever so we're gonna put him in the b tier now here's where things get a little bit interesting here now we got striker getting added into this tier list the moment you guys have been waiting for, where do we rank Striker on the year 9 season 2 tier list? I think he's B, and I know a lot of people who would say he is an A category or maybe even higher than that. I think that that's insane. I think there's nothing that Striker brings to the table that changes the game. I think he's balanced. I don't think there's any reason to have had him in the game to begin with. It's like almost like a throwaway season, and I understand what they were doing with it, what Ubisoft was attempting to do. But if you're trying to convince yourself that Striker changes this game in any way, I just, I, I have to disagree with you on that. So, Striker in the B tier, I mean, look, I, I I think he fits in with a lot of these operators here and i really like you put him up in that a tier i just i don't think he fits in with any of these operators i think b tier is where he belongs thatcher i'm gonna go b tier i think he's you know he's he's pretty balanced there's nothing all that crazy about him he's another one of those operators like sledge where he's just been you know pretty much constant throughout all the years now i would say at one point you could say he was an a or s tier maybe even but he's becoming more and more obsolete over time you know with an attacker like striker getting added where he's becoming less useful you know and, and impact emp is getting added like all of these things make him a little bit more redundant to have to a team Granted, he does do all of those things better, so it's not like he's a C tier or anything like that. I think it all just comes together to say he's just a balanced operator. Now Thermite, I'm gonna go A tier. I don't think that he is as good as Ace, and I'd say he's probably just as good as Habana. I know a lot of people aren't as high on him this season, but I don't think that there's anything really that wrong with him. Still a solid operator to have. I think A tier is certainly fine. Twitch, we're gonna throw in that B tier. I don't think she's all that crazy right now. You know, again, she just, she doesn't bring a crazy amount of value to a team, but it's not like she's really that bad to have any time. Like I, I would never really be all that upset to see one of my teammates choose Twitch. So, you know, the F2 is still, is still a handful, but overall the attacker is still decent at, at its core. So now Ying is definitely an S tier attacker. She fits in perfectly with these four other operators that we have up here. I mean, she is another one of those attackers that is a game breaker. You know, she can change the entire outcome of a round just by herself. And she has such a powerful loadout as well. Again, there's a reason why she gets banned so often up there with Jackal. Definitely, arguably, one of the best attackers in the game. Zero's been getting hated on, and I am guilty of this. I have hated on him in the past. He's been my favorite attacker to use this season, and I don't really think all that much has changed, but he, he's been really good, and I'm starting to understand the value in having an attacker that is like Zero. 
and I think this is another one of those hot takes that I don't know if you guys are going to agree with. I'm going to put Zero in the A tier. Such a crazy powerful gadget with a crazy powerful loadout as well. Again, I would understand if you put him in the B tier, but this is, you know, my personal tier list. Although I'm trying to make it as objective as I can, I got to throw in some of my opinion here. So we're going to put Mr. Sam Fisher up there in the A tier. Now Zoph, as much as it pains me to do, I think it's gotta be C tier, I mean, she pretty much does the same thing that Sledge does, you know, obviously, give or take, but she's just not as good, you know, and obviously the M762 has been a shell of what it was in the past for years now, so C tier is, is pretty much where we're gonna finish off there with Sophia. So this is our finished tier list, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, flame me all you want, I'll try to respond with as much justification as I can, but keep in mind this is, you know, a personal list obviously everyone has things differently but like I said I'm certainly interested in seeing what you guys think about it be on the lookout for that defender tier list coming out soon and be sure to check out that playlist on the screen now for other Rainbow Six Siege videos besides for that I'll see you guys all in the next one peace